Let me check. Satyan Sangvi, founder and CSO, Regrow Biosciences. You know, Regrow I... Biosciences, I've heard the name. And, uh, okay. Uh, and uh, uh, I don't know, I've seen it in many places. So tell us your story. Thank you. Thanks, Sharda, for having and inviting Regrow and me on the platform. Uh, I think you're doing an amazing work helping startups uh, reach out to whoever the stakeholder they're trying to reach out to. So uh, congratulations to you on that. So uh, so Regrow, uh, I'll give you a little bit of background of mine myself. Uh, I am a biotech student. I did my training in stem cell. I post graduated from University of Nottingham, UK. And uh, then I was thinking of coming back and I was in two minds whether to do PhD or come back. And uh, that's when I think I had a discussion with my father who uh, runs a successful pharmaceutical uh, API trading company for the last 40, 42 years. And he said, look, pharma is on the decline. There is no real innovation coming in, especially in India, since it's a very generic market. So why don't you come back and do something innovative in stem cell and I will back you up with it. So uh, I said, okay, uh, we, we have the funds uh, and we have the support. So why not? So came back, uh, I think by the time I came back, you already uh, had a team of four or five uh, critical core people uh, there. We set up a GMP uh, facility uh, outside Mumbai in Lonavla and uh, started uh, really uh, with cord blood banking. That was initially a stream of revenue for us. And we then were able to invest into R&D and bring uh, cellular products out for patients in uh, India. So the first company to do uh, that. So really proud on uh, achieving those results over the last 13 years. Yeah, no, uh, it's very commendable because I was also told that there are 47,000 happy parents. That's a huge, significant number. But Satyan, if I can take this opportunity, agar tum sabko humme batao, because we all hear about stem cell, uh, stem yeah. cell thinking. What is it and how is it, uh, you know, what does it take to build a business like this? But first, tell us yeah. about stem cell banking. Sure. Uh, so, Shraddha, we are doing stem cell banking by the name uh, BioCell. And that's one of the uh, revenue streams and a business model we've built for, uh, you know, parents who are uh, expecting. Uh, and at the time of childbirth, we collect the umbilical cord blood stem cells. And then practically, you know, isolate them, store them in uh, in a proper environment and then keep them ready for future use. Uh, that has been the primary model uh, for us to grow. But our real, real core model that we are focused right now is on regrow cell therapy products. Uh, where we've invested uh, heavily into IP and clinical trials. We've got uh, three uh, autologous, uh, meaning patients own uh, specific uh, products uh, to the market now. And we've launched them. We've treated now roughly more than 3,000 patients in India. So we yes, are that, right now. What is that certain regrow product? What you talked correct. about? Correct. So, so cellular therapy is basically when you don't have, when you have a critical disease, a, a chronic disease, and it doesn't heal by traditional medication or surgical methods. You're just managing the disease. So say, for example, you have a hip, you have a bone injury, which is not healing. So you basically keep on taking, say, anti-inflammatory or painkillers and then probably go on to steroids. And at one point, the, the surgeon is going to tell you to let's let's do a, a surgery which may involve a joint replacement. So at that point, you don't need to do that. That's where we come in. You need to prevent and preserve your joint, whether it's your knee joint or your hip joint. Uh, so the technology involves that we harvest patients' own stem cells. We take it to the lab. We culture the target-specific cell which is required. It might be a cartilage uh, for the knee joint or a bone cell for the hip joint. And we ex expand those cells and send them back. Is it my internet or is it Satyan who's... I think there's an oh, issue sorry. with internet, Shada. Hana? Yeah. So you, can you just talk to him and see? Sure. If we're just getting him back. Yeah. Uh, hello? Yes. Yes. Sorry. Ha, so you can were you saying, 
Yes, yes, yes. You said yes. you have okay. this and keep it. Yeah. Yeah, so we have we harvested, we expand the cells, the target cell that you require, and that is then sent back to the surgeon who would implant it back in the damaged area. So that basically regenerates the body tissue, and you don't need to do a morbid surgery like a joint replacement surgery. So that's where we come in. We are uh, we are creating a new segment which is uh, regrowth of tissue or regeneration of tissue, and not replacement of your uh, bone or uh, your knee or your hip joint. So that's uh, what we are currently focused on, and we have three products. One is for the bone, hip joint. One is cartilage, and one is urethra for male um, urinary problems. So those are three areas, three products that we have patented. We have licensed from the Indian FDA, um, the first company to do so. And uh, now even insurance is covering this. So a lot of hospitals and doctors, that's what we are trying to do right now, busy with scaling up on that side. So tell me something. So you, uh, like you, you will have to work with the doctors, right? Because Abhito, there must be some method by which the doctors would be treating. So what is Correct. the, and I'm assuming that this is more efficient, more, matlab, of course, this solves problem uh, in more real way. So what is the incentive for doctors? How are doctors recommending? So, uh, yes, you're right. We have to work with the, let's, let's take the example of the bone product. So we work with orthopedic surgeons in that. So typically today, the disease that we are trying to tackle uh, is, is not a very uh, known disease. And, but that is the uh, main disease which leads to osteoarthritis. So if you do not solve the problem at, during, during the time, the early diagnosis, you're going to miss the bus. So you, then you're probably looking at a, a joint replacement very early in life. So we have, to, uh, we have to educate the surgeons, one, because we are a small brand, it takes a lot of time to reach to the hospitals. Uh, and and if, if there was a big MNC selling a product like this, it would be much faster, right? So we are at the same time creating a brand. It takes time. Uh, a lot of surgeons ask for long-term data. So uh, do you have this five years, 10 years, 12 years? What are your outcomes like? So we've been in that uh, struggle. So we have like a decade-long results now. Uh, published in international journals and now doctors are really inquiring. So daily we have like five doctors calling us now and uh, saying that I have this patient and I want to do this treatment. So we've reached that inflection point where, uh, you know, all these years of hard work, digging it in and uh, staying, sticking with uh, certain uh, KOLs uh, because you want to keep your product in the hands of a few surgeons uh, so that, you know, you have a good result base. Once you do that, you can exponentially increase your outreach to various uh, doctors in uh, all cities. And, and, and sorry, but a question I have is that, of course, the surgeons and the hospitals uh, uh, are the people, you know, who recommend it to the patients or whoever is coming. But is there some way that you also directly reach out to consumers and say that, listen, these are the options and this is what sure, you should yeah. ask for? Correct. So, uh, like I said, you know, every orthopedic is not going to do this. Some of them do joint replacement. Some of them are interested in joint preservation. So it's the young doctors who we are really looking at because those are the ones who really understand that joint preservation is very critical, important, especially when these diseases. And sorry, that I attacking. also have a question. Is it cheaper yes. than? Is it cheaper than the? <laughs> it's similar. It's similar cost. But uh, uh, let me tell you what we've done. Uh, if you see the same, same product, similar product. In the U.S. market, uh, if you go into your cartilage transplant, it's going to cost you fifty thousand dollars in the United States, and if you do it here, it's going to be three and a half lakhs uh, in a hospital like Sea Apollo. So that's the, uh, the you know, that's the cost uh, benefit uh, we've got it at the Indian. Uh, knowing, knowing that India is a price sensitive market, uh, the insurance cap is usually at two or three lakhs per family. So we've been able to bring it to a price point which is similar to the joint replacement. But we aren't, we aren't really uh, uh, pitching it out like that. It's more like, uh, obviously, a 30-year-old can't do a replacement surgery, right? So he has a whole life. He's probably yet to get married, have children, and, and so on. He's probably at a peak point in his career as well. So uh, I think the incentive is really to the patient here and not so much, uh, I would say, to the hospital or the uh, surgeon. Uh, and uh, yes, we do reach out to patients as well through uh, social media and other kind of advertisements uh, where we have 
huge uh, inquiries coming in where patients are saying, I don't want to do replacement. Can you guide me? What is your treatment about? And we have this like a uh, medical tourism approach where patients reach us uh, in India, outside India, and then we connect them to hospitals and surgeons who are uh, who have good data on our product. And they're free to consult them and then take it forward from there. So we, we work with hospitals like Apollo, uh, Manipal, Max, uh, and we have surgeons in those hospitals. At the same time, we have uh, even government hospital doctors who are using the product. So it depends when the, if the patient has insurance, we send them to corporate. If they don't have insurance, they are free to go to the government hospital setup. So we've made this kind of a two price, uh, sorry, two tire uh, model for patients. But then the uh, uh, R&D would be a very big uh, part of your venture, no? Like, and then a lot of investment yeah. in that. So tell us about that. And what are some of the new frontiers uh, uh, in this mm. space that you're looking at? I'm assuming yeah. anti-aging will also be one of the uh, <laughs> big levers of growth. Hmm. So, uh, yeah, R&D, obviously, for a biotech company, we need to invest heavily into IP. We have uh, 28 uh, patent assets. We have uh, several of them granted in India, US, Singapore, um, various other countries as well. Um, and also looking at the R&D team, we have a small dedicated R&D team of eight people headed by a PhD postdoc who's come back from US. So we have a good dedicated team on that side. We have 45 scientists working on the production quality control at the lab as well. And so far we've invested uh, in a lot of clinical trials, a lot of research, uh, and roughly I would say 75 CR has gone in, uh, in the funding so far. We are yet private company. We haven't uh, raised capital yet from external sources and we continue to do so because uh, this probably is not a palatable model for a lot of uh, i would say vcs uh, because they look for fast growth healthcare something that uh, it does not grow very fast it's not a hockey stick model uh, so we're looking to find strategic partners who can really understand this uh, concept this technology and then probably collaborate with them in some level or maybe and who would funding. be if you had to just give for reference just a name of someone who could be a strategic partner, who would that be? So uh, let's say, let's see the situation of Indian pharma companies, right? Uh, they really have no uh, new business model. Some of them are entering into diagnostics. Some of them are going into uh, pet food. Or some of them are going into uh, vaccines, not so successful there. So some of them are biosimilars. Some have, have just ventured into CAR-T uh, cell therapy as well. So... Uh, maybe someone who has a little bit of mindset on the uh, biologic side, I think not the generic uh, pharma side, I think those would be the right candidate and the fit for us who could probably help us and reach, uh, help us reach to say 40, 50 cities from six or eight cities where we are currently operating in and uh, uh, strategically in terms of infusing funds or helping through the entire network and resources partnerships. Yeah. How big is life, life cell? Life cell? Is it? Uh, our, our brand is uh, Baby Cell. It was called yeah, Baby yeah, Cell yeah. first. But and there now is something cell, yeah. called Life Cell also, no? Uh, yes, uh, they are uh, the market leaders in cord blood uh, banking. And mm -hmm. as part of cord blood banking, we, we have uh, um, we've gone slow on the business now. We've uh, franchised it out. Uh, to our uh, our own sales teams and various other franchise partners in India. So we have 25 franchise partners on that business model, uh, which makes it like an auto mode in terms of uh, our, uh, uh, you can say, uh, F time and, uh, you know, uh, focus. Focus area is really on regrow. And we are building a few, uh, the next uh, generation products, which are off the shelf, which could be... Uh, which are going to be prepared from advance and then will be shipped out to any hospital, any patient that may require it uh, without having any kind of uh, rejection or those kind of issues. You know, so that's what we're building you know, I have to tell you and listen, this is ambitious. You've made it happen. And I and, and we all know that in our country, uh, starting something which is so R&D heavy uh, yeah. is not easy. And uh, and uh, I don't know what your number is. I got the number that I got, it's 47,000 people. So that's big and that's commendable. Because no, God bless. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. 
Yeah. So God Blood, we've reached almost now seventy-five thousand parents. Yeah. And and uh, for regrow we've now treated i think roughly 3 and 1500 patients wow. so far wow. and that's we have long term results 10 years so they've not needed to do any kind of further treatment no pain medication we've we've had we have people who have gone back and uh, are lifting 200 uh gym they're swimmers they're athletes wrestlers uh, so these are kind of people you know who we've helped and a product has been impactful in their lives so i think that's what uh, really um i think that's what we really aim to do you know uh, you mentioned a little bit of cosmetics so that's not really the the kind i mean the reason why we ventured into this business because there are these shortcuts that i mean i would say it, it's good money but i don't think that interests us we really want to see cure at the end uh, for patients yeah and and that's why you uh... stuck around now no for 13 years and created this kind of impact and I, again i'm saying that i know what it takes in the country in our country yeah. start from scratch uh, uh, such r and d led uh, business and hip matlab jisko bhi joint hip replacement jiska hota hai usi ko pata chalta hai how traumatic it is i know i know i yeah. know and, and and competing with the likes of big companies right all these mnc companies who get these metal imports uh, metal processes all of them are mncs and i mean that's what we are literally looking and talking to government right now that uh, there's a big talk of making india atmanirbhar but then where is the support to uh, companies like us like look we are solving a big problem here we are preserving joints uh, we are trying to reduce the import of metal impa- implants in the country and giving the patients uh, 10 years 20 years god knows how many years of uh, you know cure i mean so why not promote us why not get your, get us into government hospital tenders absolutely uh, unlike and con- absolutely. so that's what we are trying to talk absolutely. to them and uh, yeah you know if you have a very uh, amazing health minister i think you should uh, get in touch uh, and uh, talk to him i'm uh, he's more than happy i'm uh, sure. uh, at his office to listen to startups yeah but this is brilliant and i look forward to more Thank conversation uh, and and to everyone watching and listening uh two three things i'm picking up where we can all uh, pitch in uh, strategic partners uh, who yes. would who think long term and and who yeah. are thinking of impact and diversification our partners uh of course the government <laughs> who has to look at yeah the, government is a big uh, yeah Yes. category and to each one of us let's spread it hamare circle mein agar kisi ko bhi ye sab kisi cheez ki zarurat hai surgery ke jagah pe we know that we have biocell biocell no baby cell no regrow 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 so there are two different brands yeah so we regrow is where we're talking about yes yes, yes so regrow regrow biosciences and regrow is the brand yes so don't so that there's a nice tagline that we created don't replace regrow oh wow Okay, now now one will remember. Don't replace. Me. Yeah, yeah. And yes. where is it based? So we are based in Mumbai. Uh, we have several offices in India, and we just started a small office in Singapore and uh, US uh, to look for funding and look for partners across. Uh, we have hundred people in the organization who work tremendously, who have contributed, and uh, we're happy to have them by our side. Yeah, brilliant, brilliant. Yeah. and i'm happy to have this story without any venture funding growing and regrowing so yeah. thank you <laughs> i think your interview is... your interview you should do it so i think uh, <laughs> that's what was lacking till now no 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 we should have more conversation yeah sure thank you okay. sir thanks. thanks thank Sanjay. you so much thank for your time so thank you for inviting us once again thank yeah. you bye take care bye bye and the last